Hello, this is Frida. Welcome to my channel. For today's tutorial, I am going to be showing you how to knit this gorgeous stitch. I know you're going to say, oh, this is so easy. It's just a uh, basket weave stitch. But no, there's something different about it. When you, It's actually lacy basket weave stitch. <laughs> and then it gives you that texture that it's going between. Gives you that nice 3D look. You can make anything with this. At the moment I am making, I am knitting a scarf for the homeless using this stitch. And uh, I just wanted to share. You can make anything with this. You can make hats. You can make blankets, baby blankets. And this is how the back looks like. It gives you a different texture on the back side as well. So, um. You can make afghans, you can knit anything, sweaters, cardigans, anything you want knitting with uh, this stitch. So let's get started on how to knit this lovely stitch. For this tutorial I'm going to be using this yarn. It's 100% merino wool and I bought it from icyarn.com and what I did is I did two, so I'm going to be knitting with two strand because um, even it says here that it's a it's a four weight, but it's more like a three weight. So I already cast on. You need to cast on eight multiple of eight plus three. So multiple of three is twenty four plus three. I added there's twenty seven stitches here, and I knitted one row. So what we're going to do is we're going to knit three stitches just like this and then purl five stitches one two three four five we're going to do this about four rows. So knit three, one, two, three, and purl five stitches. Just like this. Two, three, four, five. Knit three stitches, and then purl five stitches. And the last three stitches are um, knit stitches, so five, purl, and then the last three are knit. So on the wrong side, we're going to knit what we see. And I'm using circular needles. <laughs> I believe I didn't even check. I think these are because I did two ply right. If I check this, I believe these are, yeah, these are six and a half. So they're 10 needle size. In the millimeter, they're six and a half. And on the label, it's recommending four to five knitting needles so just use your judgment so um before yeah i forgot to mention about that so on the wrong side we're going to do do what we see so we see um purl stitches and then when you see knit stitches you do what you see so we're going to repeat this four rows and after knitting four rows I will come back to show you the trick how to create this lovely stitch. Okay, so I will come back. Continue knitting. This is how it looks like so far. Now we're going to do some changes. Okay, with this row we're going to be knitting, knitting yarn on the bag. And what we're going to do is we're going to change, we're going to do some changing. Okay, we're going to knit 
the first two stitches and then what we're going to do is we're going to decrease here to do that from the back we're going to knit the two stitches together just like this I don't know why this twisted okay just like this and then we're going to do a yarn over and then what we're going to do is what we're going to do is we're going to knit three stitches one two three we're going to do a yarn over and we're going to knit these two stitches together just like this from um, left to right from the front and then what we're going to do is as you can see we're going to knit one stitch and then we're going to just going to move this stitch just like this then I'm going to knit these two stitches from the back together so this will look like this and then we're going to do a yarn over we're going to knit three stitches one two three And then we're going to knit these two stitches together just like this left to right from the front we're going to knit one stitch just like this we're going to knit these i move this <laughs> Because when I knit them, I want it to look like this. And then we're going to do a yarn over. We're going to knit one, two, three. Yarn over. Knit the two stitches. Just like this. And I just knit the last two stitches. And the wrong side is just pearl. That's all we do. We knit what we see, and that's all we do. All the way to the end, just like this. Nothing. So I will let you knit all the way to the end, and I will meet you at the end. <laughs> okay this is how it looks like so far now we're going to change remember we did knit here three knits now we're going to do opposite what we see now we're going to change oops got tangled here let me fix this I'll be back okay so what we're going to do is we're going to do four stitches of knit stitch at the beginning so one, two, three, and then where we the yarn over we did the lace where it's going to be a knit, and then the middle is going to be well automatically you will see the knit stitch. One, two, three knit stitch, and then five, five purl, two, three four five three knit one two three five purl one two three four five three knit And the la last remaining are five and we're going to knit this for a four rows total and then we're going to change back 
and the wrong size is what you, what you see is what you knit so the knits are, knits are knits, pearls are pearl. So I'm going to let you knit four rows. And uh, when we come back, we will do the changing. And this is how it looks like so far. Okay, so we I finished knitting after four, row, four rows. This is how it looks like. Doesn't this look nice? So you, you can see how it's becoming. And what we're going to do at this row is we're going to do what we did here. So we're just going to do knit stitch. While we're doing the knit stitch, we're going to do some changes. Okay, so I'm going to have the yarn up on the back. And then I'm going to knit three stitches. <laughs> oh my goodness. Here we go. One, two, three. So we're re doing this row, what we did, but we're doing the changes here, just to show you. Okay, so we're going to do a yarn over, and then we're going to knit these two stitches, just like this. And then we're going to knit one. We're going to do a yarn over. I'm going to flip this, because I want the stitch popping, the knit stitch. Just like this. And then we're going to knit three stitches. One, two, three. And then we're going to do a yarn over and then we're going to knit these from left to right. So this knit stitch is popping on the front. And then we're going to knit one stitch. Okay. And then I'm going to do the same. Just flip that. From the back, I'm going to knit this two stitches together, and I'm going to do a yarn over. The reason I'm making these flips and uh, um, yarn overs to create this lacy look, and it looks like you're doing a weave. You're weaving. That's what it looks like. It gives you that texture. I'm going to knit the three stitches, two, three, just like this. I'm going to do a yarn over and I'm going to knit the two together from left to right from the front. I'm going to do a knit stitch. I'm going to flip this here and change it. And from the back, I'm going to knit it. So this will pop up on the front of the knit. I'm going to do a yarn over and I'm going to knit the three stitches. So this is all to it. I did knit three here and I have knit three. So we, we are back where we started. So we're going to knit again. Knit again four rows. Four rows, but I will come back to show you. So uh, on the wrong side, I'm just going to do purl stitch. That's all I'm going to do. Nothing changing. And I'll come back to show you. Uh, to change around the boxes. Okay, so this is how it looks like so far. And I do see I made a mistake here, but I will fix it. I will show you how to fix it. No, nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. So easy to fix. We're going to knit the three stitches. One, two, three. And then we're going to purl yarn on the front. Three. See here, this yarn over is supposed to be here. So what I'm going to do is nothing to worry about. I'm just going to move it. So we have three, four. I'm just going to move this a little bit I know there's gonna be a little bit room so this is all I'm gonna do just like this so I fixed it see instead of uh, ripping it apart <laughs> this is all you do so we purl the last so we have five purl stitch one two three just like that this is how it looks like. 
then we're going to purl five stitches one two three four five knit three stitch two three purl five stitch yarn on the front two three four five knit three stitch and we're going to repeat this four rows so on the wrong side you knit what you see and then when you come back you just do repeat what we do and uh, on the fourth row I will come back you to show you how to do th this part now we're going to do this part and uh, it's very simple it's just this row when you do the changes you know when you knit two together and yarn over uh, you can get confused because I got confused here I made a mistake but I fixed it so nothing to worry about it can be fixed easily and I will come back to show you that uh, that row how to change okay this is how it looks like so far gives you that nicey weave uh, look with the yarn over and knitting together it gives you that texture okay so I'm going to show you one more time it, and it's just a repeat of these two uh, when you do the changing and uh, so we knit the two stitches together just like this so I change this and I knit these two together so this will pop on the front the knit stitch and I do a yarn over and I knit three stitches two three same as we did here so it's just the same and then we do yarn over and then we knit these two together so the we're having the knit stitches popping up that's why we're changing around and then we knit then I again change this and I knit from the back that's the only difference that we do we do a yarn over and then we do three knit stitch so this is how it looks like we do a yarn over and then we knit from left to right from the front and then we need to do a knit stitch and then we I change this maybe the way you knit you don't have to change it but I want this to be popping up so from the back I grab it from the back and I do the knit stitch And this is how it looks and I do a yarn over when I do my decrease I do a yarn over and I do my three knit stitch I do a yarn over and I knit these uh, oops <laughs> oh my goodness look what happened yeah the yarn is uh, I, I believe it's it feels like super wash um, this yarn says 100% merino wool, but it feels more like superwash yarn. Okay, let me just... And I knit these two together. So the knit pops, and I knit the remaining. And I just continue knitting like this as long as I want. And I just knit, knit the... I do the purl... Uh, on the wrong side just purl stitch all the way and I will come back to show you uh, how to knit again this is how it looks like from the back okay so I have finished knitting the wrong side and this is how it looks like so what we're going to do is we're going to purl again four stitches two three four and knit three stitches purl four five stitches it's just when we start there's only f 
four. Not five, but in the middle it's five. Three, four, five, knit three, and purl five. Two, three, four, five, and knit three stitches and purl the remaining four stitches. So this is all to it. It's uh, it's not hard at all. It's just that uh, these areas, when you make the changes, would be a little bit confusing. But I did it with you guys, so uh, I haven't done this uh, before. So this is the first of my uh, time, first attempt uh, knitting with you guys. So I hope you like this tutorial. I had to share it with you uh, before I um, knit anything and. Uh, this is going to go for the homeless, and I hope you like this tutorial. I just really like the texture of the stitch. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe, share it with your family and friends, and happy knitting!